Hey everyone, welcome back to the Demon Souls walkthrough lore through series. We're going to touch the Archstone of, uh, of the King, and uh, we're going to go to Boltarian Palace, our first area of the game, often referred to as 1-1. One, one. A huge stone castle in the heart of the northern kingdom of Boletaria, hungry soldiers whose souls have been stolen by demons attack trespassers and terrible dragons nest here. Yes, we will. Yuria the Witch. So, <clears throat> I will get into uh, the discussion of world tendency after we beat the boss of this area. <laughs> ominous the dragon. Very ominous warning. Okay. I don't believe there's anything back here, but I oh no there is. I always want to explore. Late moon grass. The effect of uh, moon herbs changes according to the condition they're in. Late moon herbs are a collection of wilted herbs that emit a faint light even and if we hit that, we can go back to the Nexus. But lots of goodies and lots of enemies. So uh, we're not going to go to the left because that's not open yet. But it will open in pure white tendency. Oh, wow. Okay. I completely forgot. Okay. Thought I had my uh, rapier equipped. Okay. So notice that we're in half health. It's because we're not in human form. And you will stay in half health if you are dead and not in human form. Crescent moon grass. We already have that, so we don't need to read the yeah, prescription for that. Unknown soldier's soul. Again, I thought I had my rapier. I need that. I need to just keep the rapier. <laughs> Alright. Crescent. So these guys can drop crescent moon grass. It's a good farming area here. If you're low on healing items, these guys will drop it, which is really, really nice. Oh, I missed. Pew pew! How dare you? Pew pew! See how effective magic is. There. Three hits to take him down. Like the rapier, but we're not going to go with that weapon. Once we beat the first boss in this area, we're going to go get an OP weapon to start the game. And then, I'm going to think, I think my end game weapon, see, yeah, it's locked. I'll open that a little later. I think I'm going to get the phosphorus bolt. That's my weapon, so uh, we can't look at it up there, but that's a shortcut we'll get soon. Let's see. Ambush. How did you hit me? And that hole right there is a pit. Okay, if you fall in like that guy did, 
he'll die. Oh, I had my rapier in. And see, we get the press of the grass. Okay. Do not fall in there. Do not fall in there. Half of the grass. There's an ambush in here for a guy waiting. Right here to the right. See him. And there's that guy right there. So we'll kill him. Kill him. But I'm so excited to have this PS3 back in action to uh, be able to record this. And that just opens up my library of now I can, I'll probably stream it, maybe not record, actually no, maybe I will record it because I'm getting Persona 3 fever, but dude, Persona 3 Fest. How awesome would that be? Oh god. My very game. So, if you did beat the Stray Demon, or the Vanguard, actually, I call him the Stray Demon because he looks like Stray Demon from uh, Dark Souls, um, you actually should upgrade your weapon. It's a nice little boost at the beginning of the game with whatever weapon you start with, but... He's magic in this area. Because these guys die two shots. I think they can throw firebombs down here, but... Mailbreaker. Let's see. An extremely small rapier that has no blade and can pierce even hard armor. Rapiers have a narrow attack range but deal heavy damage. They work well against metal armor and hard scales, but are easily parried and have difficulty breaking the enemy's guard. Have to watch out because there's all these guys up here. Because of our ring, see? I can use as much MP as I want because it'll slowly regenerate it. So. That's nice, but be careful of the firebombs. Be careful. Like right there. He's back there now. Or he was back there, so. Take care of him. Remember that guy that's up there. Switch to our rapier. We'll get that in a minute. We have to fall down to get that. But. Off here. Be careful, he's right there. Pew pew. Oh, 
always get your guard up. Okay, we're good here. Now, we can fall down and get that. Now that we killed that guy. There. Firebombs. We can get more half moon grass. And fall down here. Shoot. I forgot how to get that guy. I thought it was falling down through there. Huh. I have not played this in a long time, as you can see. I thought this actually shatters. Oh, I think I actually have to get the guy to explode this. Because those are fire bombs right there. Yeah. That's eh, okay. It's not a item that's super duper important. But. Nope. That's right. <laughs> now I remember. The rollies. The rollies. The rocks. Or the ball. So avoid that and just jump off. You won't take too much damage. It wasn't the firebomb. It was the ball. But now we get the bastard sword and an awesome sword. I love the bastard sword. A large straight sword. It's versatile. It's a straight sword, but its heaviness essentially requires to be used with both hands. Its crushing blows rapidly deplete an opponent's stamina, easily breaking their guard. It is an upgrade over this weapon. But we don't have the stats to use it. No. Bad. That's a long. How dare you. That night. Is tough. Past him is going to be a shortcut, so we'll do that in a second. So, actually, we'll go do this first. Hide behind this. Beta's attack. Late move grass. These guys are best if you parry them. We'll fall down there. this. Light crossbow. Can't use it, but small crossbow in general use amongst soldiers of Boletaria. Easy to handle ranged weapon crossbows require bolts to be equipped. In order to fire, they cannot be aimed. Reloading takes time. It's not too bad. Let's uh, eat a little grass. Just to make sure we're topped off. You start off the game with really, really low health, but we're about to get an item that makes... That, in my opinion, is a... You need to get it. Period. You won't probably win the game without it. Unless you want to screw up your world tendency and make the game harder. Don't worry, we're going to go the opposite way after we unlock the shortcut, so... Fire bombs. Now, they're giving us fire bombs for a reason. We're going to be picking up a lot more. These guys have torches. 
That guy just killed himself by lighting himself on fire because those barrels can be lit. So best take these guys out with that magic. With magic just to be safe because they're carrying torches. And uh, it is going to suck. Right here, you want to break that. Break that. It's going to drop down an item that we couldn't get before that was handy. That is a story item, actually. Turpentine. So let's see the descriptions for turpentine and fire bombs. We got two turpentine and uh, fire bomb, a lemon fire bomb. So natural resin collected from pine tree to apply to a right hand weapon to cover it in fire. It cannot be applied to wooden weapons. Duh. <laughs> it would be on fire. It'd be cool though. Uh, firebomb, an oil cast with flammable cloth plug throwing. It produces a large flame. So, you're getting all these, you're getting a buff to put, uh, use on your weapon to make it a fire weapon and fire bombs. That should be a hint. We're opening this one. That should be a hint that the boss is weak to fire. And we get the cling ring. And we just opened up a shortcut. Remember this area? Right here at the beginning of the game? We'll get the old ragged clothes some old spice and the jade hair ornament that is a story item a simple jade hair ornament could it belong to a poor little girl now stockpile thomas talked to us about his wife and daughter that fell to the demons this belongs to her so we're gonna give it to him for a little lore and uh Forgot to read this one. Stone radiant with light of souls. True color of light changes according to the souls in the area. It was made by Jerry, a friend of Sage Freak, who is known for his magical craft since his light is easy to handle and widely used by travelers. Let's go look at the old ragged robes. Robe made of layers of ragged fabric. It's covered with tears. Unsightly open seams with numerous unsightly insects wriggling, wriggling within it. No sane person would dare wear something like this believe that uh, belonged to Stockpile Thomas's wife or daughter could be his daughter maybe it's his wife correct me if I'm wrong in the chat or in the comments please but now we got our first shortcut which is nice because if we die we've got a nice run back up here Proceed. Let us proceed. So happy I fixed my controller. You would not believe. I was just running around. It was just hitting all the NPCs. and Oh my god. It was dying left and right. I was like, I cannot play it like this. Thinking of, let me know in the comments if I should uh, do a PS3 controller repair video might help some people out if they want to bring these some of these old consoles back to life and you know play them and be able to capture with them like i said i'm capturing this on my old ps3 pew pew And I think we dropped the knife, but we'll check a throwing knife. Pew pew! Go 
Going this way is going to mean some story significance later down the road. Can't do much here. Now. But there is a Red Eye Knight drive guarding that. And he is really, really tough. I'm going to try to beat him. Oh, he still got me. got me. I was guarding, but he pierced through me. And look at him. He was dead. Oh, that hurts, man. Our first death. I should not have lost that. Oh, that is frustrating. That's real frustrating. I should have been more aware of my surroundings, and that is what can happen in Demon Souls. frustrating, you know? He had one hit, he was done. He was toast. shortcut before we did that, and that's exactly why I wanted to unlock the name shortcut. Now we have to be careful here, because we know there is a bunch of fiery dudes. I believe I rebounded. Sucked. Because I still gotta get those souls. These guys are the worst enemies, you know, because they're wimpy. You know, but they can actually do damage because of their quick, rapid hits. Souls. After. Oh. So three break 
his guard. I want to kill that knight because he really. We got our soulsies. Revenge. Revenge. drop foam of grass which is nice so let's uh go get the item over there drops a lot of souls too so you can farm him that's not open yet but it will be later in the game unknown hero soul remains of a nameless hero spirit that remain in its course use it and souls will Add it to your stock. Even if you leave it to be, it will only become nourishment for demons. In which case, remnants of renowned soldier spirits that remain in this corpse. If we try to open this, it appears to be locked. But we basically finished the first part right now of Boletarian Palace, which is nice. You can't level up. Unfortunately, this is the hard part about Demon Souls because you can't you can't really gr grinding in Demon Souls at the beginning of the game is not worth it because you cannot level up until you beat the first boss. And the first boss is pretty easy, uh, but you know a lot of stuff you got to get through, like this whole mess. And those are fire bear barrels, so. My parrying is off. I completely forgot that we should equip the, the cling ring, <laughs> which is the best ring in the game. Lose less HP when in soul form. A mysterious ring that forged in the shape of an eye, the character loses less HP after becoming soul. Equipping it makes you have three fourths health instead of half health <laughs> now we just made the game a lot easier well a lot easier relative and we have our first merchant here good day to you care to look over my wares mostly stolen but who's telling a <laughs> Mostly stolen from the dragling. 
It's done. Be a brave knight or depraved slave. The demons will snatch your soul, then you'll go mad. And those oh, who man. dare cling to their humanity are hunted down. It is the end of wow. great Boletaria, wow, Lord. as we know it. But hell, at least the demons don't send us to our deaths in battle. <laughs> wow. There's this skinny fella, clad in fabulous armor, who's always mumbling about some mission. He's another <laughs> one who's managed to stay sane like yourself. Probably some pampered son by the looks of his attire. <laughs> I'd give an arm just for the buttons off his shirt. It is the end of Great Boletaria as we know it. But hell, at least the demons don't... That's all I'll say. But he's got Crescent Moon Grass, Half Moon Grass. The Long Sword, which is an awesome weapon. My favorite weapon in the game, actually. And a bunch of shields. So let's... let's I'm not going to get these weapons, but let's read the lore on these. Standard Straight Swords. Straight Swords are most standard and versatile weapons in addition to stable standard attack type against most targets. Also a powerful thrusting attack. Blunt weapons are effective against metal armor and hard scales, as well as draining a target's stamina and breaking their shield defense. F falling through with one swing and hit, uh, landing a hit, a deal a direct hit, which does more damage than normal. Standard spears like a rapier, but long reach. Spears have a narrow attack range, but deal heavy damage. They work well against metal armor and hard scales and easily parried. Have difficulty breaking an enemy's guard. It's possible to attack one's shields up while using a spear. Small crossbow. General, used amongst the soldiers of all targets, easy to handle and range weapon. Crossbows require bolts to be equipped in order to fire. They cannot be aimed. Reloading attack takes time. It's lighter than a metal shield, but it has low damage absorption rate and durability breaks easily. So, strategic points reinforced by metal. Its durability is higher than that most ordinary wooden shield. Made of collective wood shavings and merely substitute. In all honesty, calling this a shield would be somewhat dubious. Iron helmet commonly found in soldiers simple but reasonably tough. Its heaviness slightly impedes stamina regeneration. I love the code play. Iron chest piece commonly used by soldiers is simply made but reasonably tough. Its heaviness slight impedes stamina regenerations. Iron gauntlets commonly used by soldiers, and same thing with the plate leggings. It's a really nice starter armor Go set ahead, for some defense. Take your time. I'm not um, going anywhere. <laughs> I like to buy the plate armor sometimes, but I'm not going to. I'm going to save my souls a little bit because I want to buy some magic. We get there, but there's our first merchant in the game. And before we continue on, let's wrap up here. So this is the first part of Boletarian Palace. We'll continue on the next episode and finish up, hopefully, Boletarian Palace and beat the first boss. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed this. And I'll see you in the next one.